my bookworms, it's Katie. Today let's talk about my first five-star read of the year 2018, which was a non-fiction book. It's called Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. So in this book we learn all about astrophysics. We learn that there's dark matter, we don't know what it is, we just know that it somehow interacts with gravity. We learn what happened within the fractions of a second after the Big Bang, how atoms formed, how light particles, how photons formed. Also we learn that the theory of a multiverse is very plausible and it's probably true. Those are just a few things that we learned. Let's talk about the content. It really does what it says on the tin. This book gives in general overview of astrophysics, the history, the state of the research, current discoveries, what we know, what we don't know, which is shockingly much. But the book keeps it very general. It doesn't go into detail. I sometimes wish the book would have gone more into detail and provide more explanation on certain things. I felt like we um, hurried past a few things sometimes. No pun intended. For example, in the very first chapter there's a description of all the particles, all of the physical particles that formed during the Big Bang. It's more of a, oh hey, these are the particles, this is what they are called, but we don't really get to know what they do or what physical properties they have. But because there is not a lot of detail, I think to understand this book you need a basic knowledge of science. What an atom is, you need to know what gravity is. If you don't have that, maybe this will probably confuse you a lot. Let's talk about the structure of the book. It begins with the Big Bang and it goes chronologically chronologically, what we think happened. It goes through the evolution of particles to the formation of stars and galaxies and planets. That is intersected with snippets of the history of the research. And then it looks at specific occurrences in the universe, such as dark matter or dark energy. It also comes back around to some things that it introduces in the very first chapters, for example, the cosmic microwave background. It's a temperature of the universe. And as I said, it's super short. Sometimes I thought maybe a little bit too short. So let's talk about the writing. It sounds a little bit boring. I'm writing a book about astrophysics. That's a bit, that has the potential to be boring and tedious, but it's not. Somehow, the writing made this book, this topic, very, very interesting. And that is because of the humor that is strewn throughout the book. It's nice to laugh every once in a while. Also what I've noticed is that this amazement and excitement about science really leaps off the page. I really like the comparisons and explanations. They were very understandable. All right, let's talk about my personal thoughts and opinions. I really, really enjoyed this book. I learned a lot of new things about the universe, things that I didn't know before. And I was already very interested in astrophysics because I wanted to be an astrophysicist when I was younger, which didn't happen because I was crap at physics in school. It just gave me this sense of achievement. I really enjoyed that because it makes you kind of feel good, like, okay, I've learned something today. What I've really enjoyed and what made this book a five-star read for me is that it was really inspiring. We achieved a lot as humanity. We found out so many things about nature, about the universe. Just the circumstances of some of these discoveries, were, which were completely accidental and a coincidence. It's just so inspiring. Also a little bit, you know, funny. There are so many mysteries still out there. So many mysteries to uncover. I'm really excited about that. But it's also very humbling to think about that there's so much we don't know yet. At the end of it, and that is something that Neil deGrasse Tyson did very well with the book, is that it leaves you with this impression of hope for humanity, that it will get better and we will come together as, as species and appreciate the world and the universe without tearing each other to shreds or over petty things. That was it for today. As I said, I gave this book five stars. I really, really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend it if this is a topic that you are interested in. Fellow bookworms, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're reading something magical and wonderful and I will see you soon. Bye!